Welcome back to Asuka, where today to be a little bit of a shorter episode, and what I believe to be the second to last episode of the guide series, simply because I'm almost reached the point of the invasion, and um, once the invasion happens, there's not really much else for me to guide with. Um, I could talk about the <clears throat> the uh, rune stones. I don't have a lot of information on the rune stones. I know that when you build them, you can assign somebody to them, and they will give you buffs. Um, I could go after the stone Newton, but right now the stone Newton doesn't really do anything besides give you the ability to build this temple, which doesn't seem to do anything as of the ver this version of the game. Uh, this 11th of July, 2024. <clears throat> uh, I could go over things like the um, the kennels, which uh, the kennels are, yep, which allow you to get wolf pups. I don't actually suggest people doing that because the wolf pups seem to be, that mechanic seems to be a little bit underbaked at the moment. There's really not much else to talk about. I could talk about the fisherman's hut, but again, if you're not immediately next to the ocean, which we are not, it's not very viable at the moment because then you would have to make a secondary outpost and kind of build logistics. And I have not done that to the extent that I would be comfortable guiding someone else to do that quite yet. So because of that, I'm kind of reaching the end of what I would consider to be my knowledge to impart to you guys, which is, well, how to deal with this and then how to fight it the day of. So today what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to be showing you uh, how to prep for this. Now you've noticed that I've cleared quite a bit of crap out of the way. I took out a bunch of trees, I took out a bunch of stones. I am going to be setting up uh, hedge walls in this area. And the reason why I want hedge walls is because hedge walls are going to be a distraction for the enemies to go after first before they try to go after uh, my guys out here. I would rather them go after the hedge walls, so we're going to make that happen. Now, I don't want to put up right at the face of the portal, because what ends up happening is the uh, the enemies never get out of the portal, and your guys just run into the hole of the portal and kind of bottleneck themselves there, and it kind of becomes a bit of an issue. So, you can see I put up, yeah, let's put another one over here, and that should be enough. Especially for the first portal, we do have iron tier, and there is supposed to be a kind of reaction to how many villagers you have active, as far as how the um, the invasions go and stuff like that. But even in my 100 and something day playthrough, um, I haven't had an issue with doing it with six people, three archers, three um, regular combat Vikings. I was going to say dwarves. <laughs> And uh, just doing this setup. So we still have the invasion marker. And we're going to go ahead and set these guys up. But first, let me do something really, really quick. Let's talk to Jalmar. I don't know how to say that name. We got Battle Scarred Veteran. Do we have... Okay, no. Forger's Instinct, Steadfast Resolve, and Resilient Surge. I actually found out the reason why you sometimes have issues with certain buildings not showing up defense is because you built the marker before you built up the um, the structure. So this should not be an issue anymore and I'll actually show you guys that, that when we go back home. But for now, we're going to assign you to the first warehouse, I hope. Uh, let me see. Do we have? We do. Okay. Now assign Hajalamar to that. Get it working. Now, I I want to say that all these should be working exactly the same. Okay. And then, Hajalmar, we're going to add you to a house. We have one here. Boom. All right, she has a place to sleep. She has a place to work. And I have some builders helping me out. So I'm going to keep clearing this area. That's going to give them materials to work with, too. I'm also going to build um, some fires and put 
um, what I what I like to call the range hoods, uh, the the fire covers. The reason I'm building fires is this happens during the winter, and during the winter, it's cold. As as I I think a lot of you know, especially those that live in winter places. So we're gonna put some fires up. That's gonna allow us to turn them on during the uh, winter time. That way we're not freezing to death and our guys aren't freezing to death while also trying to defend the area. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and take that one. Now you could get a little bit more elaborate with this, but honestly, it's really not necessary. It's really, really not needed. So I wouldn't worry about it. Now you could say, "Oh, well, how about you just encircle the uh, the thing and and call it a day?" Yeah, it, that that one doesn't work quite as well. Just giving them something to be distracted while also letting you move around effectively is more than enough. <clears throat> Let me get them to do these first. That way, I can start adding stuff to them. Ooh, my uh, my sleep buff is gone. Wondering why she's not doing the pinned work first. That's weird. That usually oh, somebody's got an invisible stick. You not have a hoe? Is that why? Let me see. Might be that she doesn't have a hoe. Where is her inventory? Yeah, she doesn't have a hoe. That's why she's not doing that work. Okay. Well, these. Okay. I think that should be good. I want them to get out of that hole and attack up here. So this should be okay. This should work out. Let's just cut one more young fur. And I think for the hoe, you need, um, need stone. Oh, she's got rest time. There we go. We got somebody working us or working out. he does that, I'm going to really, really quick back home. Get another sleep buff. Um, pull another person down. It's actually for that, we're probably going to need to get more thatch. I don't, I, I don't have to pull another person down. It is literally useless now to do that. But kind of keeping with the, uh, the format of, hey, we're, we're supposed to be pulling people out of the thing, so... Some food. Um, something I don't know if I've talked about beforehand. Roads are very, very useful. They're just kind of tedious to deal with. But uh, roads are going to allow you to not waste as much stamina w when you run on them. And they can help your, uh, your villagers. Because, for example, if you want to build... Let's say you want to build uh, a fisherman's hut. And you want to do the long distance thing. They will just kind of do their own thing walking there. But if you build a road, they will follow the road. Because it's going to get them there faster since they don't have to be stopping constantly to do it. Let's wake up. We're going to summon another person. Er, winter Resilience Battle Scott. Green Dancer. Hmm. I 
Eh, let's do Rain Dance or Sunrise. Okay. That means we're gonna have to adjust the guy that's already here. Sorry, you are going to be set up tonight. Go get a little bit of sleep. Oh, that's another thing. Since we reset this, I should probably check to make sure that we got this under high priority. I want them to be getting the food before anything else if there is food available. Yeah, this used to be bugged. And when you looked at it, it didn't have any defense points. Now it has 54 defense points. So, um, yeah, I'd say, I'd say it's doing pretty good. <laughs> Somehow it's getting 54. And it's probably because this thing is slapped up next to it. Although that shouldn't matter. But, you know. Whatever works, I guess. All right, let's go back to prepping this area. Actually, I'm going to... Do that. So, <clears throat> seeing as very, very soon I am not going to have any more content on the guide itself, what I'm actually thinking of doing is now I, I know some of you guys have seen me playing um, Bell Right. So I am interested in playing through Bellright and kind of learning what's going on with that game and, and possibly making some guides for that. But what I'm thinking of doing for Asuka is creating a just a playthrough series where we I look for a really good um, really good seed that has a a cave near the shore and that way we can actually try to use as much of the stuff as we have until they do a big release of content. Which, you know, whatever that might be. I'm seeing that the only thing that's missing here is a bunch of rope. And they did build this, so. It's gonna find a fire cover. It's gonna need more rope. But yeah, if you're interested in seeing me restart a series where we start from scratch again, but it's it's a full playthrough series. No cutting, no changing. Um, we are literally seeing everything that I'm seeing the whole time. Let me know in the comments. Because, you know, maybe that is something you guys are just interested in. Um, full playthrough series also, surprisingly, take less time for me to do than this kind of series. Because with this kind of series, there's a lot of cutting. There's a lot of me doing stuff outside of showing you guys things because I want to stick to guides. Or guiding more rather than playing as much um, but that does mean that a lot of times we have the situation of I'm sitting here working on this thing for uh, quite a few hours outside of what's being recorded and that limits my ability to get anything done when it comes to um, doing any kind of video work right so it's less guides are, are less bang for my recording buck even though they're more bang for for my recording bucket in the sense of people actually playing or actually watching my videos so um that's just something i'm gonna have to uh, keep in mind and something that i hope you guys keep in mind if you are interested in seeing me for example make guide videos for for bell right or even make a full playthrough series of asuka where we play through up until they show us what the new content is going to be or they actually put out the new content, let me know. I am definitely, definitely down for that. Let's uh, go ahead and strip all this down. There's gotta be some more bark around here somewhere, right? Mm, here we go, more bark. All right, let's go ahead and build some rope. four fires are not quite as important I want the walls six eight ten so quite a bit of work mm. 
Hmm. You know, the thicker logs. The logs tend to have a lot of uh, bark when you break them down. There we go. Just a thick log. Oh. So much crap on the floor. Rip. Go ahead and hit this. I don't know why I'm not making rope at home. I should be making rope at home, but, you know. Oh man, I need two more, really? Yeah, should be more than enough. Right. So yeah, this would be the basic setup. And then just like you guys see me do for the bosses, where I essentially assigned all of my um, all of my uh, fighters to the boss marker, I will be doing the same for this, right? You'd go to the, the uh, barracks, you'd uh, assign a task under fight. We're gonna add a patrol point. Let's call it the add the invasion point. Get rid of the skelly point and you would set them all to work and then save it and they would show up and you would do that right before the invasion now it's important to note the invasion happens for me personally has happened every single time on the day of at 1 p.m so that's 1500 on the clock at the top okay every single time i've had an invasion it's happened at the same exact time so i'm not going to say that that's exactly the same time for everybody because i've had people tell me that that's not the case but I believe that that's exactly how it works for everybody else. Okay, so just keep that in mind. The day of the invasion, and it will say invasion starting or invasion is today. You won't have a countdown anymore. It will literally tell you invasion is today. So it's not like it's going to play tricks on you, and you know it's going to be one and then zero. No, no, no. It will literally tell you invasion is today. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, that's um, that that does it for 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 this one. It's a very very short video. I know most of it was just me. Uh, either rambling or just building this random stuff but it doesn't take much effort to do prep uh, most of the time was spent just clearing the area around the the portal that way when they spawn in our guys aren't jumping around and trying to swing around a bunch of uh, trees so next time we uh, we uh, we see each other on a video will be the day of the invasion so what that's gonna mean is that for the next, I don't know how long, I'm going to have to sit here and kind of wait until the countdown happens, and I will be bringing you guys back in the next episode. I want to say probably a day before the um, invasion starts, and the only thing that's going to happen off camera is I'm going to be running my butt back to the... Oh, bear attack. Oh, it's autumn. I forgot about that. Oh, no. Oh, excitement. Excitement, excitement, excitement. Bear attack, bear attack, bear attack. That is not good. Oh, man. Where is he? Oh, he's already there. He's already there. Climbing over the thing? What the heck? Oh, man. Ow. Oh, he got me. Damn it. Oh, I was rolling. Come on. Come on, game.
Shut up. <laughs> Such rude interruptions. <laughs> oh, man. Holy moly. Look at all that. Honestly, I probably could have just kept this there and it would have been perfectly fine. <laughs> but yeah, so um, <clears throat> the only thing that I'm going to be doing aside from what you're seeing me do now between then and, and or now and then is going to be going to the metal mine, mining some metal, bringing it back, having them process it, going back to the metal mine, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Um, that way I can make sure that all my warriors have really good uh, weapons of war and so that I can actually build something we haven't actually talked about. Let me go um, show you. I'm pretty sure we haven't talked about it. And of course it is pitch black because apparently I love uh, doing this in the darkness. We haven't really talked about this, but also um, getting a, where is it? a longbow. Which requires wood shafts <clears throat> and rope. Long bows are going to be a little bit better than your regular bows. You got a base damage of 3.6. This has a base damage of 5.8 with a much higher durability. So I'm going to be equipping my archers with long bows. I'm going to be equipping all my wet warriors with actually proper shields, good proper metal weapons. And I'm going to be uh, building up some iron arrows because they do quite a bit more damage 6 to 7 versus 5 to 6 on uh, anything we are attacking. So we're kind of, you know, kind of uh, winding down the, the guide series. There's there's not that much content in this game for me to uh, have a much longer guide series than we already have. <clears throat> that might change in the future. And as the time as time goes on and, and the uh, game adds more stuff, and I feel like we gotta come back to it, I might either just do uh, small sections of guides where we talk about those unique mechanics like for example I am planning on doing just a separate section talking about the wolf pups that has nothing to do with this guide series just to kind of get it out there um, but you know as updates come out and things like that I'll be probably doing videos where I'm I'm slowly talking about those new upgrades or new mechanics or the the changes that they've been making so just keep that in mind um, Next episode will probably be the last episode of the guide series. And depending on how you guys feel about, you know, whether or not you want to see me just do a full series, we will go, go from there. But yeah, um, that's going to do it for today. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'm really, really glad to have seen uh, this kind of um, feedback on the series you know a lot of you guys have been commenting and letting me know there's been plenty of likes there's been plenty of subs uh, I did not expect to get anywhere near this amount of subs playing anything in on YouTube um, the fact that I got anything at all I'm over 400 subs is kind of exciting to me and let in the grand scheme of things that's not a big deal but if you think about it um, my videos are hitting probably you know anywhere from 800 to 1200 views and 1200 people sitting in a room looking at you doing something that's a pretty big deal so you know if, if we if we uh, don't take into account the 20 million and 30 million people uh watching other other people's channels this to me is actually pretty cool and i do it as a hobby so it's it's very exciting that i can do something on my off time and and have people enjoy it so i really appreciate you guys uh watching the series i really appreciate all the uh, likes and the feedback and and people actually having found something useful in my guide series even though it's a loose guide series that is wow you are very short uh, <laughs> sorry that is more uh more of a split between guy and let's play but uh yeah uh that'll do it for today i appreciate you guys stopping by please leave a like leave me a comment if you don't like the series for any reason leave me a dislike but let me know why hey i didn't like this or that or that's why i'm leaving it a dislike that helps me do better and makes me a little bit better at what i'm doing but yeah that'll do it for today i appreciate you guys stopping by and uh have a good one bye now